Well, after reports that Tamil Nadu Minister and Chief Minister M.K. Stalin's son, Udhyanidhi Stalin, will be elevated to the post of Deputy Chief Minister, the AIA DMK has reacted, accusing the DMK of running a dynastic party. Now, calling Udhyanidhi Stalin the prince of the DMK, the AIA DMK has said that he is being groomed to be the DMK's chief ministerial candidate for the 2026 state elections. Listen in to Kovai Satyan of the AIDMK and the reaction against the reports that Udhyanidhi Stalin will be elevated to the post of Deputy Chief Minister in the first week of August. The speculation that there is going to be a cabinet reshuffling and the Prince Udhyanidhi will be given the Deputy Chief Minister is not new. What's happening in Tamil Nadu is DMK is running a dynast rule in the name of democracy. Father, son, grandson, great-grandson, that is the DNA of DMK. And we have been saying this for the last uh, two years, that after the parliamentary elections, he will be elevated to the Deputy Chief Minister and he will be made the CM candidate figure on the 2026 Assembly elections. This elevation will mark the greatest fall and end of DMK in Tamil Nadu. So strong words coming in from the AI DMK against these plans from the DMK camp to elevate Udhyanidhi Stalin to the post of Deputy Chief Minister. I'm joined by my colleague Purnima Murli on the broadcast. So Purnima, the knives are out when it comes to these reports that Udhyanidhi Stalin will become Deputy Chief Minister in the first week of August. Any reaction coming in from the BJP camp as well? Well, so far, no reaction from the BJP camp. However, uh, earlier this year, on two different occasions, there were uh, speculations that Udainati could be uh, could become the deputy chief minister. One was in January and the other was in June. But uh, during these uh, two occasions as well, the BJP reacted the same way the AI DMK reacted, uh, saying that DMK also stands for dynast uh, uh, party and therefore it's uh, not new or surprising that Udainati will eventually be made the deputy uh, deputy chief minister. Uh, DMK is nothing but a dynast party, and therefore only the family of uh, Karnanadi will uh, will uh, will get uh, uh, elevated. And uh, it's not a surprise. Uh, is the word that's come in from the BJP and the AI DMK earlier as well. So that's the sounds that the BJP will once again take. Uh, once uh, uh, the once it's confirmed and once uh, Udayanadi Stalin gets elevated, so to say. Uh, before uh, Chief Minister M.K. Stalin uh, travels to the U.S., uh, which is on the 22nd of August, before that, Udenadi will become the Deputy Chief Minister. That's the word that's coming in from the DMK sources and senior leaders and ministers from the DMK. Right, and Purnima, the AIDMK also making this point that he's being groomed to be the Chief Ministerial Candidate of the DMK for the 2026 state elections. Uh, tell us a little bit about the resonance of Udenadi Stalin as a political leader. Is it in the same vein like his grandfather and father? Well, if you look at M.K. Stalin, uh, he uh, he was uh, working with the party for 50 years before he was uh, he became the chief minister. It was always uh, Karunanadi. However, Karunanadi made it clear that after him it will be M.K. Uh, Stalin. However, uh, since 2019, Udayanadi Stalin has actively uh, uh, played uh, a role in uh, the party's uh, in the party activities. And uh, after the 2021 state elections, he was made uh, he was made. Uh, uh, he was made the he was made the sports minister, uh, and after that, there were reports that he will be the star campaigner of the DMK in 2024 Lok Sabha polls. And with the DMK sweeping and winning 40 out of 40, uh, 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 his elevation was likely on the cards. However, uh, right now, with uh, the chief minister uh, traveling to traveling to the US, uh, the MK sources said that uh, uh, for the smooth governance, they wanted Udenadi uh, to take over and uh, and also to focus on 2026 state assembly polls. Uh, uh, that's something that uh, the MK sources say, that uh, he will help the party once again sweep the state elections. That's the word coming in from senior leaders. However, the MK and BJP say that uh, after MK Stalin, it will obviously uh, uh, be Udenadi Stalin and therefore even as uh, 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 Stalin was made the deputy uh, chief minister in 2009, when his father was the chief minister, the same now applies to then the Stalin, who who is uh, who will eventually become the deputy chief minister when Stalin is the chief minister. That's something that uh, that presence is being made by the opposition parties here in Tamil Nadu. 
Right. Thank you, Purnima, for joining us on the broadcast with that piece of breaking news. So the battle lines have been drawn in Tamil Nadu after reports that Udayanidhi Stalin will be elevated to the post of Deputy Chief Minister in early August. But